Everybody, I'm Jay Rock, and today I'm talking about my Barry Game Exchange pickups. Uh, you may have already seen my pickups already uh, on Buried on Mars' channel. If you subscribe to that guy, he had a sneak peek, exclusive look at my pickups at STC Pod Bill's basement. We were there after the show, and so we shot a little video, and so that's on his channel. You go look at that video there, but I still have more to say. Uh, some things that I missed as well. So this there's going to be some new content here, uh, and there's going to be extra content here. So get it both ways. Uh, so yeah, the Berry Game Exchange is put on by Nintendo Hodge, Chris Hodgson, and his buddy Darby. Uh, you can see I, I did a video there of some floor footage and all the faces that I got to see at that show. A great turnout. Lots of familiar faces, lots of great games, great deals, uh, great vendors, ones that I've dealt with uh, many times, have a bit of a rapport with, so it's always great to see familiar faces um, on, on the floor at the tables. Uh, makes makes for better business dealings. Uh, so like I said, Barry, that's up in Barry. My mom lives in Barry, so I went up for a few days visit. I went up for the game exchange like as soon as I got to Barry I went there did all that and then I spent a couple days with my mom so that was great uh, but my first thing that I have to show you here is actually a gift from my mom she popped by the swap while it was going on to say hi to me uh, and she brought my brother she picked this up this Mario DS case for a few bucks and asked me if I could use it and I said sure yeah I could use it so Thanks, Mom. I love you. And look, there's a little mom selfie that I got. So it's always good to visit with family. Uh, so yes, next I got a whoop, a component AV cable for a PSP. Uh, but I realized that it doesn't work with the PSP model that I have. Uh, this is for a PSP Go. And I have the two earlier models of the PSP, the first two models. So I'm looking to maybe trade one of those for a PSP Go, because then I can use this to get video off a of PSP, use it for reviews or for, let's say, my Let's Rock Some Game series. Interesting way to capture some footage from a handheld. I like that sort of stuff. Just put that there. I have a feeling stuff's just going to fall. There, I'll put that there. There, it's still in the shot. So, uh, also, I want to thank STC Pod Bill for some April Wine vinyl. He knows I'm a big fan of this band, and he wanted to get rid of these vinyl for some reason. So, thank you very much, Bill. And Bill, I actually, because I spent a few days in Barrie, he lives in Barrie, down the street from my mom, so we went for breakfast together, and we chummed it up like pals, and uh, yeah, thanks for these records, buddy. They will surely be in a good home. Make sure we're not getting any glare off these there. There. I'm gonna fill, this is my new thing, I'm going to fill the shot with the shit. <laughs> But it's not shit. It's not shit. Uh, so, let's let's continue with some thank yous. I wanted to, I, I like to get my thank yous out of the way first. Uh, thanks to my buddy Matt Fox for these uh, awesome Mega Man and Met. This character is called Met. Characters. Uh, pixel art. Perler B. Pixel art. He won a package uh, with this ticket. Uh, lucky him. Uh, that is the ticket that was two away from mine. I almost won this prize pack. Uh, I was off by one number, and he ended up being the one 
that got these and he gave me these. So thank you to my pal Matt. Fox from One Up Games. Keep on rocking them games. Is. Okay, next on the list. Thank you to Rose Lamour La Pin. Uh, she gave me a sweet ass deal on this copy of Ghost Lion for Nintendo NES. This is a hard to find NES. You don't see too many copies of it. Interesting label. That seems to be what everyone says about it and sticks out the most. But uh, from what I understand, it's pretty cool. And then also she gifted me this copy of Kiss Pinball. And you know what? You can never have too many of these. Thank you so much, Rose. I'm a big fan of Kiss. Ah, next, next. Thank you to Mike and Danny, the Retro Electors, for helping me add this NES cart to my collection. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Thank you, boys. Uh, two of my favorite bad dudes. Uh, go check them out on the YouTubes. Danny and Mike, they rock. Uh, what is next? Oh, I want to thank my friend Ryan from Ryanovision. Uh, he is a Cartridge Club member who also happens to re reside in Barrie. And I actually saw him, uh, like I said, I stayed a few days in Barrie, and I saw him a, a couple days later at the local EB Games. I was checking things out, and he was in there. So it was good to see you there, Ryan. And next time I'm up there, we're hanging out. See what did I say? Stuff's just going to fall. Oh, well. Let's just, there, I'll put them here. You know they're there. Uh, but yeah, Ryan hooked me up with these NES games at a, at a great price, I think. I think I, I, I did well. He was very fair. Mick Kids, one I've wanted for a while, but everyone I, I came across back in the day when I was a label snob was chewed. But this is a great condition card. And Demon Sword with manual, both in great condition, and a dust sleeve. Always fun to get one of those. So thank you, Ryan, from Ryanovision, for those cards. Uh, next, uh, a new member to the online community, Retro Fun Games on Twitter, at Retro Fun Games. Uh, I believe new to YouTube as well. So go on over there and say hello. He had a bunch of good deals on games there. Um, I was kind of playing at uh, trying to save money f as I went on. I didn't want to spend all my money on, on all the tables early on. I wanted to see every table before I spent my money, but I could have spent all my money at his table. He had good stuff, good prices, and I grabbed a few NES games I needed. So thank you to Retro Fun Games for a good deal on Little Nemo Dream Master. A good old Capcom title. People seem to consistently say that that is a decent title. Road Blasters. And Russian Attack. Nice little play on Russian. And uh, that's a five screw cart there. So I guess there's a three screw variant out there. I guess. Uh, what else do I have here? Okay, I think that's everything from everybody. So that's all the thank yous that I had. Uh, so let's get on into some of my pickups here. Uh, let's let's finish off the NES here. Got Bo Jackson baseball. You know you need uh, you need your uh, sports games in your collections. Tailspin by Capcom. This is actually a game that is featured on Girlfriends vs. Uh, collaboration video I was in of a bunch of gaming couples on uh, Valentine's Day. And this is one of the games featured on that. And I don't, I didn't own it then. Now I own it. So go check out that video. Good chance for a plug, eh? Grabbed Astanax 
which my friend Steven Eider loves to death and has been bugging me to just get this already. So there you go, Steven. I got Astanax. Is that how it's pronounced? Astyanax. Astyanax. The Ast Yanax. Super C got this for a great old deal of 25 bucks. I'm I'm happy with that price. That that sticks up. That that price sticks out in my mind as a, as a good price. And a boy and his blob trouble in Blabonia. Now this is a game that I've been kind of trying to find for a while, but I don't see it in stores usually. So the swap is a great place to find any game you're looking for. You 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 got a good chance of finding. They even had like they had little Samsons and stuff there. So you know if they have stuff like that, they're gonna have some of the more uncommon stuff that you don't usually see. And uh, the last NES game here I have to show is uh, Ronald Carter's copy of Sky Kid. This is the game that apparently James and Mike Mondays ran up the price on this. The popularity spiked in this and the price ran up on eBay and uh, I got this. I am proud to say I got this for the price of eleven dollars and looking at prices of sold listings on eBay uh, I've only saw two that were around eleven dollars but most uh, spanned from $38 was, I think, the lowest other than the $11 ones. $38 up to like 80 bucks for this game. Uh, five screw variant, it would say on listings. Rare with exclamation points. Uh, this is five screw. Got it for 11 bucks. So who knows what the real price is, but I'm glad I didn't pay what some people are paying on eBay for this. And that's me having a that's me having my ear to the ground with the retro community by listening to podcasts and all that stuff. You got to be savvy, guys. You got to you got to listen to uh, what's going on. If you don't keep your ear to the ground, Pocahontas, you never hear the buffalo coming. Uh, so yeah, Sky Kid, and uh, yeah, Ronald Carter, you will be erased. I'm coming for you, Ronald Carter. Okay. Uh, just a, a little one-off N64 game, NFL Blitz 2000, one of the few N64 sports games that I enjoy. I think it's the, can't think of, uh, other than some racing games, can't think of any other sports games I've played on N64 other than wrestling. Yeah, I haven't played, uh, yeah, NFL Blitz 2000, not a sports fan, not a sports game fan. This is a fun as hot game, and I spent a lot of time on this back in the day. Uh, so here is, I, I, I made a pact with myself that uh, I'd be going to this thing. I wanted to add at least one game to my Sega Saturn collection since I got that from my friend Ram Vox, who made that possible. Uh, so I grabbed SimCity 2000. Uh, really great price on that. It is complete with its manual and yeah, I didn't have like a simulation type game for the uh, for my Saturn and now I do. So that's what I'm gonna try to go for is try to get a different genre, every different type of genre game on that system and see how they play. Uh, here is a bunch of disc games for PlayStation 2. Crash Nitro Kart. I am always on the lookout for kart racing games because that's one of my wife's favorite type of game. It's kart racing games. So, got Crash Nitro Kart for the healthy price of a few bucks. Always buy, I'll always buy a decent game for a few bucks. And then for the same reason as I like to play uh, with my wife, Laura, and that's Rayman Raving Rabbids. A fun party game. Try it out with your friends. Good for a laugh. Again on the Wii, 
An episodic content uh, by Telltale, Sam and Max. This is the, uh, what is this, season two of Sam and Max, Beyond Time and Space. Five episodes in there. If you like Telltale games, check it out. A lot of, a lot of good humor in that as well. And then for Xbox 360, I got Wolfenstein, which I was told is not that good. This is not the that good version. Uh, Return to Castle Wolf. Return to Castle. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I hear is, is the better one. But yeah, I, li I like getting my first-person shooters. And uh, Left 4 Dead 2, which I also want to be a co-op experience with the wife. We both like zombies, and uh, you know. We're always preparing for the zombie apocalypse that is inevitable. So there is that. Uh, and then, what do I have? I only have, I only have, I only have two more things to show you here, guys. And uh, these are two things that have been on my list a super long time. And uh, really happy with what I paid for it. You know what? It's exca it's escaping me now. They, I don't think they ha they didn't have a card there. I asked for one uh, at the table there. Uh, I really wish I could remember right now. If I ever do remember, I'll put it I'll put their d information down below. But got a great deal on on these games. I've been on the lookout and if you've watched my channel, I've mentioned it numerous times. I've been on the lookout for Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics on Super Nintendo. Uh, I gifted mine away to my buddy Matt Fox who's going for completing his Super Nintendo collection and he's getting there uh, and so I wanted to help him out before and I regretted it ever since and uh, he was actually the one to spot it for me at a table. I hear him yelling J-Rock! J-Rock! and I look around and I see Matt he flags me down and he points this out to me so that was Wow, that was perfect. He was the one to find the game that I had given him for his collection. So, Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics. And I was asking for a deal on this. And uh, he, he the, the seller said if I bundled it with something that I could get a little bit of a deal going. So, I, I looked around on the table and then I found something that I've been looking for for a while as well. Uh, just as long. And that's Lemmings 2 the tribes and I've been looking for this for a while because this is a super scope compatible game and it is now like I only have one left to get and that's Operation Thunderbolt uh, if anybody has Operation Thunderbolt out there and wants to work out some sort of deal with me get in contact with me I'm looking for that it's the only game I need to complete my super scope set so yeah, Lemmings 2 of the Tribes is Super Scope game. So I've been looking for both of these for a long time and um, usually usually I don't like to kiss and tell or say how much I paid or uh, on on like unless it's a super good deal. Um, I did not pay dirt cheap for these. I didn't, you know, I didn't pay a few bucks for these. These go for a bunch of money, but I did save some dough. Um, I will say uh, this one usually goes for between ninety to one hundred and twenty dollars on eBay when you see listings, and uh, this one I don't usually see going less than thirty to forty bucks on listings. So I did pretty good with those. Uh, not sure if I want to say the number because I have. A little contest idea for you guys. That's right. A contest idea for you. Now, now I went to the show as, you know, when you go to a show, you should go with a certain amount of money that you're going to spend. That's your limit. You go with that money in your pocket and you spend it and it's gone and then that's all you're going to spend. So, guys, that's what I did and I, I I spent my money until it was gone. So, I want to ask you guys how much money you think I spent to get this stuff. And if you guess, 
the person who has the closest answer to how much I spent uh, for all this all this gamey goodness you're going to get not not this copy of Kiss Pinball that Rose gave me but I have a copy over there somewhere that I am going to send your way uh, if you get the answer closest to what I spent at the Berry Game Exchange for all this stuff. So you will get your very own copy of Kiss Pinball. Not this one, because Rose gave this to me and I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons, but uh, you will get a copy of Kiss Pinball sent to you from me free of charge. Uh, I'm not doing a specific giveaway video, That's this is just for the people, you, just you guys watching this pickup video now. I'm not hashtag giveaway on Twitter or anything, no, this is, this is just between you and me in this Berry Game Exchange pickup video. So, how much did I spend for this stuff? Down below, closest person gets this game. So, great time at the Berry Game Exchange, great time seeing so many people, and I spent time with family up there, saw my mom and my brothers, it was a great, great weekend for me. Um, Definitely going to do it again next time it comes around. Uh, and I, I think I might even try to bring some more money next time. So guys, this has been J-Rock. Keep on rocking them games. <laughs>